Hey, what is up everybody? My name's Star Lord. I hope that you're having a fantastic day. I know I am. I've just seen Deadpool 2. It is absolutely amazing. If any of you guys have seen the trailer over the last couple of weeks or months, and you think it looks interesting, go and check it out. It is a very awesome movie. So I'm a very, very happy mood today. Uh, but anyway, today's video, we're actually going to be taking a look at the skin that you saw in the thumbnail. I'm going to be talking about it and kind of uh, asking the question, why should you buy it? Or actually, more more importantly, why you shouldn't buy it? And uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pr basically save you guys a little bit of money in today's quick video talking about this very specific outfit. Uh, now, before we do get into the video, guys, please do not forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more Fortnite glitches guides videos just like this in the future. And of course, if you do or, or if you're interested in some free V-Bucks, go into the top link in the description, click on it, and it'll actually give you a little bit of information on how to participate into an event that I've got going on right now and win some potential free V-Bucks. Uh, but anyway, Getting straight into today's video, we're actually going to be looking at the Royal Bomber. That's actually what it's called, the Royal Bomber. It looks really cool. A lot of people have been very hyped about it just because of the way it looks and who it's actually resembling. And uh, if you guys haven't properly seen it, I'll throw him on screen right now. And as you can see, there he is. It's got this very kind of clean cut looking guy. You know, he's got a little mole on his chin right there. He's got a really nice jawline. He's got the glasses on, which is the shaders or the aviators. He's also got a blue beret and a blue kind of uh, uh, coat. He looks very cool. And a lot of people very were quick to notice that this character is actually meant to be Sylvester Stallone in the movie series, The Expendables. He apparently, he wears a very similar looking style uh, hat glasses and kind of like shirt combo or something like that and uh, this kind of attracted a lot of people a lot of people were very excited about playing potentially as Sylvester Stallone in Fortnite Battle Royale now while everyone was actually hyping up this skin and everything like that I actually noticed something very very specific about this character skin and I really didn't like it I, in fact it made me kind of angry the fact that people were willing to buy this based on the information that I saw and kind of gathered it together and that is that Epic Games have yet again actually taken a skin and pretty much changed it with minute kind of details to create another one that they are potentially going to sell on. Now, if we just look at the character once again on screen right now, what do you notice about that character? Yes, that is right. It is actually the Havoc skin or originally known as the Raptor. The Raptor skin which people had to pay 1,200 V-Bucks to actually purchase, which then Twitch actually said to Fortnite, yo, we really like the Raptor skin, let us make a Raptor skin, but make it look a little bit weirder, and let us have that. And then, of course, Fortnite said, yes, okay, we'll go with that. And they actually sold the Raptor with Twitch Prime. And uh, that was very, that, I didn't like that, if I'm honest. I really didn't like that, because basically, they, would, they took a design in which people paid money for, and basically replicated a very free version of it with some different camo on it to make it look better and uh, unfortunately I really do think that the Twitch, uh, sorry the Raptor skin looks much better than all of these skins in my opinion and um, it was just kind of unfortunate that you know a character that looked kind of similar was now free with a subscription based service on Twitch and uh, now again they've done something similar you know we, we've got the same kind of coat we've got pretty much the same character just except you know without the kind of beanie on or whatever or the mask and they've done literally the tiniest change to the character in which people bought for 1,200 V-Bucks. And again, like I said, this video is kind of one of those to kind of point this out because I know for a fact a lot of people have missed this whole thing. Like, honestly, like I said, I asked eight or seven people whether they noticed anything about this skin and only one person got onto what I meant. And that was the fact that it was just a rehash of an old skin. And I don't know, normally, like... Fortnite put a lot of effort into their skins, you know, I mean some skins look kind of similar But then they're completely different in some way or another and honestly This is just the Raptor skin or the Twitch Prime skin with a different headpiece And that really kind of got me a little bit angry Especially when I found out the rarity for this actual item itself Now please do stay tuned throughout the whole video as it does pose some very important speculation and information uh, so basically this character is going to be a purple skin. Now, unfortunately, off the top of my head, I don't know how much that is, but I know for a fact it's over 1,200 uh, 1, V-Bucks. It's definitely over 1,000 V-Bucks anyway. So that's potentially 10 pounds or eight or nine dollars that you're spending on a skin that has pretty much already been out already. 
Now, I don't know whether Fortnite have actually thought this through or not, and personally for me, a character like this just doesn't seem likely to be a purple skin. I mean, honestly, I don't understand it. I mean, there's nothing really crazy about it to make it a purple. So then what I was kind of thinking is, you know what else? This could actually be a free exclusive skin somewhere down the line, and it's actually be going free sometime soon. So we just kind of take a look at the character once again. As you can see, he has the blue beret, the blue kind of costume right there, and I kind of realized that, oh, wait, PlayStation have done a deal in the past where they had an exclusive PlayStation skin. This dude could actually be a free skin with PlayStation Plus. This could be another kind of promotion thing that PlayStation have paid Fortnite for to do an exclusive skin. And it actually seems more likely that I kind of thought of that because I was like, you know what? That makes sense. Yeah, because Twitch ripped off the original skin. And now PlayStation could be ripping that off too, because, you know, no hard feelings or whatever, you know, because it's already been done. And it would make sense for the purple being purple, because obviously, you know, it, it just, it, like, when you get free skins from certain things, they have different rarities. So we just kind of look at some of the free skins that we've had in the past. Um, let's see, for example, the Rose Team Leader and the War Paint, which is coming with Fortnite Battle Royale or Fortnite, the original game. If you are a founder of the original game of Fortnite, you are getting two free skins that are of legendary rarity. And they are the gold rarity. So obviously, you know, you don't have to pay for those, but they're still ranked as very, very high tier things because they are very, very rare. And of course, you know, the Havoc skin, which was with Twitch Prime, that was also a yellow skin. And uh, we just kind of, uh, well, personally for me, you guys won't see me doing this, but I'm scrolling up on this website that has all of these skins right now. If I look at the PlayStation Plus one that came out not too long ago, we can see that it is actually a blue skin, I believe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a blue skin somewhere. I'm just trying to look for it right now. I'm just doing my best. I'm sorry, guys. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that it was actually a blue skin. Yeah, there you go. Blue team leader was a blue rarity. So it could actually be very well that this is a free skin. But I wanted to make this video today just in case it isn't. And if it comes out tonight at 1 o'clock in the morning or 12 o'clock for you guys over in America or whatever you are, um, just to kind of take a step back and think... Is it worth buying a skin that has been rehashed already twice before? I mean, is it worth it? Personally, for me, I don't think it is. And I think that the original Raptor costume is probably the best here. And I'm just kind of sad and disheartened that the Fortnite team are doing this with skins. And I don't think it should be a thing. I genuinely think that most skins should be very unique. At least have different clothing, not just the same clothing. It's it's absolutely insane. Uh, but like I said, guys, that is pretty much the uh, like kind of, I guess, the uh, purpose of today's video. To kind of save you guys some money and warn you that, yes... This is the same skin that you've seen since Series 1 or Season 1 or whatever, or Season 2, Season 3. When did the Raptor skin come out? Leave a comment down below. I would love to know. Uh, but anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching today's video. Save some money. Honestly, it looks kind of cool with the blue color and everything like that, but it just isn't worth it. I promise you, guys. I promise you. I'm trying to save you some money here. Uh, but anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching today's video. Have an awesome day. Save your V-Bucks for better skins. And until next time... I've been Star Lord. Oh, see ya.